Black Swan. Dust, dawn, slight dance, shoes, dream. One dream, a girl, a cloud, a bird, a dance, the dark, a shadow, a tree, a flight. <laughs> goes with it. <gasps> breathe in, breathe out. It's earth, it's sun, and she wakes. And there she is sitting in her apartment right now. There's not actually anyone there except her mother's birthday pancake. Hello, good morning, sweetheart. I'm here, mom. What do you want? I, this is baby pancakes for your birthday. Oh, that's, I'm not hungry. Just taste it. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. I'll find it. Shh, mom, it's really okay. I'll find it. I'll find it. Shh. Sweetheart, just, just try it. Just try it. Just try it. <laughs> mom, it's okay. Shh. There yeah. I just say yeah. the There's my sweet girl. <laughs> That's, she goes to the dance studio. It's time for the warm up. She stretches out all of her ligaments. <laughs> they crack, they stretch, they scream. She's impregnated. She's an abortion. The swan comes. Three years later, Snow White shows up with an apple in her mirror, but that's until the fortune ring fall. And the last part of the epilogue is we all show to the second part of that swan. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is the time when Natalie Portman comes with a 90 pound bony body. <laughs> and she reaches out to stretch. And she auditions. She wants to be the black swan. She's obviously already the white swan because the rapist teacher that she already has. <laughs> she can be that swan, but she cannot be the swan unless. As you can be the black swan, which the bitch from Honolulu comes over and says, oh, What up, bitch? I'm from Honolulu. But she says it with a Brooklyn accent. She pretends she's from Brooklyn because everyone thinks they're cool from Brooklyn, but she's really from Honolulu. And everyone there is poor and has a bad education system. These wives are putting the worst education system in the US. <laughs> and anyway, it was saying that Mila Kunis, Pernis, Cantantua, Franny Swanson, Sullivan, who's actually the entire name of the girl. <laughs> She comes over and tries to compete with her for the black swan because she can't really dance, but she has some flows about her that really get her going as the black swan. And so Natalie Portman tries to make out with her because she's an ugly lesbian, kind of ugly. I mean that, exactly. And so they have sex, but really Natalie Portman's having sex with herself and that porcelain doll of a frog next to her nightstand. And really actually her mother watching her the entire time, which is really awkward. And it requires some awkward sexual attention, which we're going to explore later in the second sequel of Black Smile, but we don't really explore into this much way out because Natalie Portman is an Oscar for the amount of dancing skills that she had when she showed up for this much, but you can have enough time for an, an entrement. Wait, what's the word for it? A denouement. That's a, no, not a denouement. We couldn't have enough time for like a lot of character development, which we're going to have in the second half. We're going to go back in time like baby pictures as Natalie Portman, how she really wanted to dance before the Black Swan, starting uh -huh. from age four and on towards arms. So Miley Kunis comes from Honolulu, Brooklyn, New York, and she says, what up, bitch? I'm going to fuck you. And so they fuck, but release her fingers. <laughs> recap, recap. And then Natalie Portman is given this role by the rapist director that we were discussing earlier. Miley Kunis is kind of mad. Natalie Portman is to freak out drunk, say that she gets drunk and fucks herself. Her mom comes on her and actually tries to sit the doorknob in her vagina and says, hides it in her own vagina, but then Natalie Portman strips out of her vagina and squeezes her vagina and says, it's my turn! And she runs out of the room and says, you had your own chance but your clip was cut off of my father's dick. And she's really upset because there's a lot of daddy issues, but we don't discuss it in this black swan. Again, this is something brought up in the second black swan sequel. We're almost at the end. And then... She gets on stage. She does it, but she kills herself in a mirror because she thinks that mirror is actually her father, who's really not her father, who's really Milo, who's really not Milo, who's really her, who's really not her, who's really her clitoris, who's really not her clitoris, really the black swan, who's really the black swan, her personality. Who's really her personality? It's actually the swan who's taking over his personality. It's the rapist director, the entire time, actually the candlestick and the broomstick with the conservatory with the man, Mr. Blue in the Green, and Clue Junior is my favorite board game. And that is the conclusion of Black Swan. Because Natalie Portman then resurrects herself as Jesus. But we should all take one lesson from this movie, if we should all learn one thing, and it is that do not wear white before Labor Day. I think that's it. You have your essay.